G'day, g'day, comrades, subscribers. So I was looking for my Princess TV to uh, continue on with that, and I came across this, the Neo Geo X. Not Neo Geo AES, but the Neo Geo X. So this came out in 2012 and was only around for about a year before it was cancelled. Um, doesn't mean it's particularly rare or valuable, I don't think so. You can still buy them on eBay, I think probably new still. Um, but yeah, you can still get them. Um, a few hundred dollars, mm, I don't know. Probably I'd, I'd spend a few extra you know a few hundred more save up a bit longer and, and get a proper neo geo so what is this so the, the ngx so this was actually produced by an american company called tomo under license from uh, snk so it is actually um well you know it looks like a neo geo um advanced entertainment system aes but it's actually got um this is the actual unit itself. Um, yeah, this is basically it. Um, first thing I've got to say about it is that it's um, this is the second backing I've put on it, and this one is now get getting sticky as well. So I'm actually I'm thinking I might just take this off and just spray paint it. I'm get I'm sick of these products that are made with this uh, rubber that. Um, that just goes sticky all the time but this is the actual um, game unit I guess the actual Neo Geo X it's got 20 built-in games and it's got an SD card I don't think it's exactly you can't use a normal SD card from what I I, could, I did some basic research but I think from back in the day they'd swapped the read and the write pins around or something so you can't just use a normal SD card um, similarly you can't you you can't just dump their SD cards something like that I'm not sure of the details uh, but it was something something like that yeah so yeah it's it's not a bad bad little unit actually um, it's just the the it's it emulates emulates the Neo Geo and um, that emulation isn't really good I'm not an expert but um, you can emulate it better apparently apparently the Sony PSP um, was doing a better job on it um, in modern vintage gamer did a pretty good video on this and I think he's actually got a proper AES that he could compare it with so I'll definitely go if, if you're interested in this go and check out his video um, I wouldn't no, I say I wouldn't go out and get one now, um, especially for the prices they're asking. <laughs> so I, I bought mine new when it when it first came out, like the sucker that I am. Um, so yeah, so we'll have a look at it. So it's got um, it's got a pretty nice little thumb thumb um, thumb stick, thumb joystick, I guess. Then we've got um, buttons there, start button, menu button, we've got our volume, then we've got uh, headphone jack, we've got a brightness control, on off, that's where the SD cards go, then we've got our shoulder buttons here, turn it around so we've got it the right way, then we've got HDMI out, AV out, and also the USB, uh, micro USB and yeah this is the like I said this is actually a replacement I actually got this from Aliexpress so and this one's actually starting to go a bit sticky now as well so the way that it works it was, it was a pretty good idea at the time it's just they did a terrible job implementing it um, oh wifey's calling better answer okay sorry about that um, what was I saying it, it was a it was a pretty I think it was a pretty good implementation um, it's just, you know, the, the emulation wasn't very good, apparently. Um, so this is the base unit, which looks like an AES. It's not exactly the same size. I think it's a little bit smaller. Menu button there. On the front here, we've got a power on off. USB. Um, uh, uh, joystick uh, connector things. And that's how we open it there. I think, um, then yeah, we've got DC in, HDMI out. So it's a it's a mini HDMI it's not a full-size HDMI 
and then just AV as well if you don't have HDMI. And in the, uh, whoops, let's just zoom out. We just open it up there and that's how we uh, hook it up. So we just stick the, uh, the Neo Geo in like so, so that the ports line up, push it in like so. And there we go. And then this is one of the, um, um, I can't think of the word at the moment. It's, um, I don't know what the originals feel like. I've never had an original, <laughs> but um, it's pretty light. I've actually got two of these, of course, I bought <laughs> for whatever reason. Um, it's okay. It's okay. I'm sure it does the job. I don't know yeah, how well it would stand up. And like I said, it's uh, USB. So what else? So there was a, there was a firmware update. It originally came with version 370 or 370 or something like that. And then there was a firmware update to version 500, which used these... Um, rocket cables for see we've got a c and an x uh, power goes in there then that plugs into the unit itself so the um the firmware update came on um came on an sd card one of the game cards so i think you had to use this to put it into the programming mode or whatever to update the firmware so see if to actually just charge it um, so you could use so you could use this to charge it, for example, using that um, power supply or X to update the firmware. I guess got one with every bloody game you bought, <laughs> and then I've got some. I've got these. These were I bought these extra um, from AliExpress. I think they might be like extensions or something. So that's HDMI. That's mini HDMI. So I don't know. I can't remember the purpose for these. I think they might actually plug into here. So let's see. That plugs into there. That would plug into the USB. Maybe. Yeah. That or well, that also plugs into the USB. Huh. That one plugs into the mini HDMI. Okay. Oh, okay, so maybe maybe you can use okay, maybe you can use this as the second player. For example, perhaps you hook all that up. So if you've only got one of these, one player uses this and the other one player uses that. Maybe I don't know. Can't remember. Uh, for the games, let's plug that back in there. So I did actually get a few. These are the ones here, so you can see they. It comes with uh, 20 built-in games, and the rest you could buy. I don't know if this is the whole collection. Um, but these are the game, like the SD cards that it came on. Um, SNK Playmore, so you like I said, licensed from them. So what's that? King of Fighters. I can't really read the rest. So. I think I've got most of them. Anyway, we'll give it a try. So I just thought we'll have a have a quick look at this. This has been stuck away in um, in storage because it was it was okay. It was okay. But let's say emulation wasn't as good as I'd say the having the original. So what I'll do, I think is probably try and capture rather than film the screen I'll try and capture the HDMI out 
So how do I do that? That's a proper HDMI cable. Yeah, I don't know. I might have a cable. Mm, all right, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. So I found an adapter cable. Mini HDMI. I don't really want to bend it. It turns out it's a good old Nokia cable from uh, one of my phones. Maybe an N95 or something. So that plugs into there. Um, but now power. So it takes 5 volts in because uh, as far as I know it's just a plain straight pass through to the unit itself. So I just need to find, of course I'll probably, I don't have no idea where the original is. So I've got a bunch of these. Uh, I think maybe I saw a picture that was maybe this yellow one. I always keep these as well because they're always handy for different sizes and then I can just I use um, glued heat shrink and, and everything to make a cable out of it. It would be nice if it weren't right angle but anyway it is what it is. Yeah that seems to fit. So it is, I'm trying to look at it, centre positive, okay, which is normal for modern stuff. So what I need to do now is basically just, oh no, I'm just going to grab a USB cable, chop it in half, and then solder it onto here. And um, then we'll see if we can capture some gameplay. We'll try and find the boxes as well. Maybe for part two, we might have a look at... Um, so I haven't done too much research. <laughs> surprise, surprise. You can buy, um, you can buy kind of um, special SD cards that have got a micro SD card um, installed on it, quite thin. Um, but then I was reading something about that you've got to have the original firmware. It won't work with a new firmware or something like that. So anyway, so I thought I'd get a um, uh, an SD card reader, hook it up to the Arduino, and then maybe. Or maybe Raspberry Pi, maybe experiment with it so you know I can if it really is read and write are just switched around then obviously I can switch those around pretty easily but maybe that's for part two let's make up a power cable first okay skip ahead if you don't want to watch this let's chop that off yep I'm using the wrong one don't give a shit <laughs> okay, so we've got the shielding. Don't really care about because all we're doing is charging. I guess I could make my own with the. Um, uh, could do. So, yep, way to go. So it should be just the red, red and the black. Let's just get all this to one side. So we can chop it off. Maybe I should have made it a bit longer because I need to fit some um, glued heat shrink over all of this. So normally I do just make up my own um, USB plug, but you know, I've got so many bloody spare USB cables, so it just should be, I assume, the black and the red. The um, we don't need the data, so I assume that's what they are. So let me, and I've also obviously I need to check what is the inside, which pin is inside. So let me do all that. Okay. So that's the um. Center, 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 yep. Yeah. So the outside is that one here, and this one here is the, the center. And yeah, black and red voltages. So we need to just connect it up like that, basically. So a bit of flux will make it a bit easier to solder. Always just use this one, just dab it in.
and get all the um, get all the heat shrink ready. Okay, so let's just get some get some nice solder on there. Got some little bits of heat shrink. Probably way too big actually, but let's see. And then this is what eight mil. So that'll fit on there nicely. It's probably a bit too thick for that. But you know, this is just a quick just a quick uh, cable build. Okay, so that one was negative. Well, that was the outside, so it's center positive. So that we want that one to be. So let's just quickly do it. Okay. And then this one. That'll do. That'll work. Ah, I moved it before it was... Hang on. Heat it up again. Ah. Fiddly. Yes, I know, there's probably better ways of doing this. Just hold it, hold it still, hold it still, hold it still. There, okay. That's why I like to use the glued heat shrink, just it gives it more mechanical uh, mechanical strength. Okay. Let me uh, heat those up. Okay, there we go. Just whack this on top. Might maybe turn it around a bit. So probably what might have been better to is like, yeah, put some 6mm first and then have this on the top. But let's see how this goes. I didn't cut these two data lines off. Well, not that they're um, important. They're not used for charging. But I didn't want them to short or anything like that. So that's the idea. So let me uh, heat that up and see how it ends up. Okay, ouch, ouch, ouch. Squeeze it, every, everything into place whilst the glue is hot. And then it'll harden in, harden like that. So just quick and simple. Right. So, quick and simple, 5 volt uh, USB for the Neo Geo. Alright, we'll give it a quick try and then we can rejoin everyone who have skipped this part. Okay, so this is the setup we're going to use. I'm not going to charge it, it's fully charged. Well, we've just got the HDMI capture there. Start the capture. Power on. Okay, we've got Neo Geo on the screen here. Nothing on the HDMI capture yet. Okay, now it's switched over. Okay. So these are the these are the built-in games. Not sure what any of them are like. <laughs> League Bowling, or oh, Metal Slug, King of Fighters, and then we've got the game card. So I do actually have a game card installed. The Last Blade, Blue's Journey, The Art of Fighting 3. So let's try that one, shall we?
time. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, in Japanese. Ah, start. Story mode, short mode. Short mode sounds good, doesn't it? Okay. Oh, what? Okay, A, B, C, D. Alright. In other words, just mash the buttons. Sure thing, I'll remember all that. Okay. Power, okay. Alright, so I stand it pretty much fighting game. Okay. Don't know my own strength. Seems to be okay. Um, oh, one of the... Uh, one of the arguments was that it was like a lot of tearing on the screen or something. Uh, I'm like I'm not a. For me, this is this looks fine. Maybe you know, maybe ten years later you can get um, you can get better, get better stuff. Don't know what the um, graphics output on the original would be. Okay, I've got power at max, so I don't know what that's that mean. Okay. Alright, how's that? Alright, so we go menu, we can quit. Go back to the main menu. Um, let's try... Uh, they're a shooter, so three count bow, that sounds like a boxer. Last resort, alpha mission two. That might be this is an inbuilt game. Okay. So I think it might copy it to an internal memory. That's what, that's the other thing we gotta do. We've got to pull it apart, don't we? I'll pull it apart after this. Uh, we'll try normal. Okay. Laser missile attack. What? Armor attack is B. Okay. C is open. So A and B. A and B. A and B. Okay. A and B. Or B type. A. B is missile. Alright. Maybe that. Try that. It seems simpler. Shooting. Oh, okay, that's missile there. Oh. Oh, this is where a, a stick would be better, I guess. Can I? Oh, am I supposed to pick those up? All oh, right, yeah. Look, um. Okay. Ah, when well, he's shooting them, I'm push. Ah, okay. I'm pushing them away by shooting them. This, okay, so I need to do missile. Missiles for the things on the ground. Okay, this is uh, I know I know this is nothing like bullet hell like it could be, but um, okay. Ah, so if I go up to the side, all right. Um, let's just if I go up there, can I get a? Can I get a? Oh, I don't know. What does that mean, home? Oh gosh, I need to do missiles. Alright. <laughs> Never proclaim to be uh need to okay, alright, so you need to switch between Whoa, missiles to hit the ground targets and lasers. 
to hit the uh, flying targets. that G mean? Can I get that? Okay. Alright, here's a flying one, so I need to use this one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. Cool. Alright, not a bad game. Alright, menu. Fingers are actually starting to get a bit sore from that. So it's a good good selection of games, but then again it's, it's Neo Geo, so you don't need this to play these games, obviously. Lead bowling metal slug. Let's try that. So this is where I think it's loading it to the internment, but yeah, okay. We'll just have a quick look at this, then we'll pull it apart. Race one versus one player versus two player game. Okay, can't do that. Oh, no, let's just have a quick look. Oh, okay, a hey, swing bat, stole steel base. Oh, okay, this is going to be a disaster. I had a baseball game on the Sega Saturn that was pretty good. Okay, ah. Okay, so I hit the ball. Ah. All right, all right. Let's uh, let's quit that. Let's have a quick look. Let's pull it apart. So screws on the side. So I have definitely had this had this apart before. Uh, get my SD card out. One, two. Going around five. Okay, and there's a three along the top as well. Okay. some widgets to try and open it. Careful, we don't lose <laughs> lose those and the springs. So I don't think yeah, there's no nothing else. I think it's just all clipped in. There we go. It's coming. It's getting there. There we go. So like I said, this is the. I may have. May have transferred this, I'm not sure. But yeah, I got this from AliExpress, I think. Replacement. So yeah, I might keep that off and just spray it. But here we are inside, so I've already 
careful I don't want to lose <laughs> lose these bits okay 2012 okay 28 28th of November 2012 so that's stuck in there big SD card there so I don't, don't know if it's going to tell us no, it's not going to tell us what's what. Actually, I might leave that there. Okay, so these are just little tactile. So if I just pull that off, so I don't lose the spring by it flying off somewhere. Got some more screws there. Okay, that's the on-off button. How far in should I go? Because I, like I said, I needed to get this off to spray it. Okay, so that's the um, that's that controller there. Oh, all the little <laughs> screws are attaching to it. Um, do I want to do all those those four screws? Yeah, it looks like I'm gonna have to do that. Sorry, there's some dead air now. I've not pulled this apart before. I don't want to ruin it. Because it is working. There's, okay. I think I heard a spring go flying across the room. Bugger. I'm going to have to order some more tiny little springs. I think it sprung out of that one. That's all soldered on. Okay, and we've got more. So, so this is actually, yeah, it looks like this is actually glued on. I'm not going to pull that off. But, all right, so <laughs> let me know. Let me know where I can find some of these. Replacement springs. I knew that was going to happen, didn't I know that was going to happen? For a tactile switch, for mini tactile switches. Okay, might be able to find them on AliExpress as well. Alright, so let's pull the main board off. Lots of screws. Actually, let's just pull this last button out so we don't lose that spring as well. Doesn't actually want to come out. All right, we'll leave it. Hold on to it. Yeah, I don't know why those, the controllers didn't work. I have to pull those apart as well, I guess. Well, hopefully there's not a screw underneath that. Can't see anything else. You really want me to do this, don't you? Not sure how how it's held on. Yeah, I can't see. Yeah, there might be another screw under there, unfortunately. We can't see anything else around the outside. That might be holding it in place, so Although there is the screen in the middle there. Hmm. OK, 
can see a little bit down there. Okay, whatever was. All right, close that. There we go. It's coming off, it's coming off. Okay, came off. And no, there wasn't another screw, was there? Was it being held on, or is it just being held on by these? Ah, okay, maybe it's these ports here that are holding it in place into the frame. Yeah, okay, it's these ports holding it in. Yeah, there we go. Okay, more on the front. There we go. Cool, okay. All right, so we actually do have something here that we can very carefully remove. I think my phone battery is going to die, so I'm going to have to go and charge it for a bit and come back to this, I think. How exciting. And we're back. So just, well actually these little speakers do come out, don't they? They are kind of, they're stuck in there or, yeah they do peel out a little bit. I'll stick them back in. So that's the front plate. <laughs> Something else just fell out. <laughs> That's why I'm doing it. There we go. A little screw fell out. Um, so you don't screw it up like I am. And that's the uh, thin flex for the screen, I guess. I'll put that over there. Then here is the main board with the battery attached still. What do we got on there? I can't really see at the moment, so I can't really um, can't really got some Samsung. I guess what that's memory is it? More Samsung over there. I don't know <laughs> what any of these parts are. But there we go, that's what it looks like inside, if you're curious. Pretty neat. So I think I think it's okay. I don't know if I'd pay full price for what they're asking for on eBay at the moment. Um, you know, certainly if you want to do emulation of Neo Geo, there are better ways of doing it these days. So that'll just go back on like that. Alright, so now I just need to measure these so that's the that's the tactile tactile switch that I need to find a replacement uh, spring for okay I think that's about it I think um, I need to figure out why the joysticks weren't working and um, I think it might be interesting to maybe connect one of these up to a Arduino and I don't know see if it is round the round the other way okay um but yeah check out modern vintage gamers um video uh, he's obviously done a much better video um comparing this with the actual um aes and um a bit more of the history as well okay bye for now